Awesome Games Done Quick 2018. This is Hootie here on the mic with you, and it just looks like a great lineup coming up. Let's keep the spooky games going. We got Resident Evil 3, Nemesis, a race between Bakba Soup and Wuss Cake coming right up. Why don't we go ahead and read a few donations while we're at it. We got $20 from Zucker Rengelchen. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Such a great Resident Evil 7 run. So much wow. You are the best carcinogen. And never forget, this never happened. Oh, shoot. Redline donated $40 and said, holler at the runners. Great job, Carsey, on the run. Shoutouts to the NYC Smash Bros. community, to Brooklyn Game Lab, and to <laughs> on the scare cam. Donation goes to the Superman 64 run. And a $10 anonymous donation says, I was going to donate later, but this run was absolutely fantastic. Couch, commentary, and announcer were fantastic. I love all that you guys do. We're going to go ahead and play a quick Twitch ad for, uh, and we'll see you back here in just about a minute. Stay tuned. Did you miss us? Awesome Games Done Quick 2018 benefits the Prevent Cancer Foundation. I just want to take just a moment to say thank you so much to everyone who has been able to help set up this event, to everyone that has donated, and yes, to all of you watching right now. Thank you so much for your support. And speaking of support, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, talk just a tiny bit about one of our incentives that's going on. We have the run Blood 2 coming up quite soon. And we have a uh, bid war that's been going on for playing as either Ophelia or Caleb. As it stands right now, they're absolutely neck and neck at about $600 a piece. If you have even the slightest preference in what happens with this Blood 2 run, please get your donations in very soon because it's coming up right after Silent Hill. Thank you so much. We also have a $20 donation from Majestical Josh. It says, $20 redos direct from Australia for such a dope run and commentary of Resident Evil 7. Thanks for all the hard work, GDQ peeps. Money goes towards the Birth by Sleep Aqua Crit Run. And that's sure to be a really amazing run as well. Carlito NSP donated $15 and said, Carcinogen's excellent run was foretold by Gyromancy. Sadly, I won't be able to catch the Silent Hill run soon enough, but after that amazing Resident Evil 7 run, I'm satisfied. Putting this towards angering the chicken god, because lobotomy chicken secrets must be revealed. We also have a $5 donation from In Flames We Must. Feels bad, man. Mine will never be read. Guess what? It is being read right now. 
I'm just glad this event is running against cancer as my friend Emily was diagnosed with cancer a few years ago, but beat it due to good research. Thanks for doing this event. Thank you so much for your comment in Flames We Must. And while we're still getting set up, I'll go ahead and talk just a little bit more about the prizes that we have available right now. For just one $10 donation, you could get a, you can have the possibility of getting the Seal of Metatron Charm Necklace. That's currently available right now. We also have some other amazing prizes going on, such as an AGDQ 2018 sketchbook done by our own LLK for a $30 donation, an Octopus AGDQ banner for a $50 donation, and an entry-level gaming PC for $40 donation. Thank you so much for your generosity and for supporting us here at AGDQ 2018. Looking ahead into the schedule as well, if you're interested in seeing a ridiculously good game, absolutely a great game, even Superman 64, a gem, uh, that is currently being set at a $30,000 donation incentive. We're only at about $2,200 right now. So uh, if you'd love to see a crazy good run such as that, please, uh, please just go ahead and uh, get your donations in and hopefully we can meet that incentive soon. Thank you very much. One of our amazing uh, merch vendors here, Fan Gamer, is making high quality video game merchandise. Figurines, books, plushes, shirts, hoodies, keychains, and pins. They have new official merchandise from SNK, Undertale, Hollow Knight, Golf Story, Slime Rancher, and more. 100% of the profits from GDQ merchandise sold during AGDQ is donated to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Visit their site to learn more at Fangamer. Dot com. Just a couple more donations here. One from Aaron168 donated $40 and said, Well done to Carcinogen on the entertaining run, and even more well done on the donation. Great to see. And wow, an anonymous $150 donation that said, that Resident Evil 7 run was absolutely captivating. My first time donating and happy to do so. Zero Becca donated $70 and said, wow, that incredible Resident Evil 7 run. Nice job stating cool and great commentary. Stretchy donated $40 and said, never thought someone could get me to watch a horror game, let alone laugh along. Amazing run, Carcinogen. Can't wait to see more of AGDQ.
Did you miss the crowd cam? We love it here too. Inevitable Walrus donated $100 and said, whoa, it's Hootie. Donating because excellent announcer, excellent cause, and yes, an excellent horror block. I have to agree. Money is announcer's choice. Much love from a longtime Vine Sauce viewer. Oh, that senpai donated $10 and said, hey there, Mr. Hootie, if you read this next part in your best noir voice, I'll donate another 10 bucks. Well, here we go. It was late, but I had no choice. Cancer didn't rest, and neither did I. Someone had to fight this beast, and our event was that someone. Thank you so much. We have some great comments that are coming in from everyone here. Another $100 anonymous donation. It said, first time watching. It was incredible watching Carcinogen blast through RE7. Shout out to my good friend, Mr. Loki, a pediatric nurse at the LA Children's Hospital. Lost Link 2 here donated $50 and said, cancer has affected many loved ones in my family, and I'm more than happy to donate to a good cause and one of my favorite events of the year. So here's to helping get Superman 64 in. I think it's time to get spooky in here. Resident Evil 3 run coming up right now. A race between Bakpa Soup and Wuss Cake. Take it away, guys. Hey. <laughs> this is the camera, I hope. I don't know. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Who is ready for the most random race of all time? The RNG in this game is just ridiculous. So this should be interesting. Um, but who's ready? You ready? Oh, I can't wait. Uh, oh boy, this is gonna be a disaster. No, it's gonna be. That's what I'm saying. It's a messy run. It's a it's a very random race, and hopefully everyone knows that before we get into this. But anyway, three, two, one. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh boy, R E three. Well, the first is here. It's simple here in a marathon run. We just run straight into him, push him off. Oh, look, it's Michael Bay. You can risk the dodge, but <laughs> the time loss isn't worth it, I'd say. Ooh, and there's a chance he can grab you as you're getting off, and that's complete. That's why I go on the left. He yeah. doesn't grab you when yeah, you're yeah. left. It is actually very possible to save an extra half second there, but uh, obviously the more consistent thing is just straight up not go for the dodge at all. Both of both Bach and Whisk Cake not wanting to take a single risk in oh, that section. We know this game way too well. Oh yeah. The monsters have overtaken the city. We want to finish this game. Yes, or at least try. <laughs> or one of us at least. Yes. Please God. There's no such thing as being completely safe in this game. Mm -hmm. If you play like me, it is. <laughs> Alright, so. First trick of the uh, PC version here is uh, delayed door skipping. By waiting for about uh, yeah, half a second or so, there's like a very, very subtle lag frame. And if you hit that, then it actually cuts out the fade in 
for whenever you load the room. So in some cases, it's actually beneficial to be able to skip the doors slowly such that the music doesn't fade in, or such that whenever the music changes, it actually works out a lot faster that way. All right, and biggest, one of the biggest parts in the game right here, the basement. This can decide the entire race if it goes badly. Oh, yeah. So the exit and re-entered, PC-specific trick. All right, trick. so I got a turbo zombie, which is not good. Two turbos, uh -oh. so we'll see what happens here. Oh, yeah, what's cake All right. Getting stuck on I'll a staircase the there. It's all right. Fully expected all right, it. so my, my basement wasn't the best, but... Ooh. All right. Oh, man. That was, was almost, good. that was almost caution. Yeah, that was pretty bad, but... Now, if you haven't noticed already, they are playing... There's RE3 is on several platforms, so they are playing the PC version, the Chinese version right now, and you notice they can skip these door transitions pretty quickly, as you saw here, Carson mentioned, so um, they're not playing with any kind of glitch version. It's just this is the most optimal version to speedrun this game on. The Chinese text is uh, between 13 to 17 seconds faster, uh, mainly because of item pickups. So you notice every time I pick up an item, I get the same exact text over and over again. It basically just says, okay, instead of saying, you pick it up the lighter or whatever. Yeah, and every door has a, a different time we need to skip it based on music and a couple other things. Now, you notice as they're playing here, you know, they have pretty optimal movement here. You're not going to waste a lot of time shooting zombies unless you just have to. They're going to make sure they can get through there. There are certain times where your movement where the zombies can attack you, certain animations they can hit you on. So you'll just see them running by most of these zombies throughout this entire run. Whiskcake actually uh, got a suboptimal barricade, barricade push. Uh, the zombies uh, pushed over the barricade before he was able to hit the lighter. Uh, the zombies actually uh, busted through the barricade after Bach let the rope. Which so is one Bach second able faster. To, yeah, which is about one second faster. It's uh, better to just choose to uh, examine Brad's corpse, turn around, head to the door. Another big RNG section here. Oh, I can get fine. Yeah, so zombies could either be good position, bad position. All right, and, Whiskey uh, got the bad luck. Whiskey got, got bad luck, Bach got good luck, so it's going to be a little bit of gains. Here's another very RNG section. Depends on uh, guessing guessing the uh, code here. There's four solutions. Nice. And, and now, just like that with RE3, we're both caught up. Uh, that's the way the game works, and that's just one of several RNG puzzles that will can swing this race anyway. <laughs> it is an yeah. RNG fest. Right. Yeah. So here's uh, here's here's actually the very the very very uh, big. This is, this is crucial right the here. The great the great divide is, oh he, is it grenade launcher or magnum. We're about to find out. Wuss cake coming up on the locker, which contains. Ah! Oh, oh my God! Double a magnum, double magnum run. Oh boy! Oh. This is we not are good. in for a run. This is. This is special. This is special right oh, here. Oh God! The Can grenade we? launcher oh, is the God. optimal. The grenade launcher is optimal, but getting the magnum, <laughs> yeah. getting the magnum forces both of them to pick up a lot of gunpowder, and in general, boss strats are going to are are, are going to they're riskier be now. A lot riskier, especially Ooh. the grave digger, especially <laughs> clock tower nemesis. That was 50 damage yeah. if I got grabbed by that the, zombie. I. Magnum is an instant reset if you're attempting world record. I finished like probably 12 Magnum runs in my life, but they were all in the past week, so I should be good. <laughs> yeah, they'll. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They'll oh hit. God. This is what they'll, they wanted for the, the race double anyway. Magnum. Uh, it's roughly. You know? It's roughly. I would say Magnum is maybe about 30 seconds slower overall with optimal with optimal Magnum routing. But uh, if your execution's on point, yes. If your execution, yeah. if your execution's on point, you know you get good enemy RNG everywhere else. It's probably about like 30 seconds slower than getting the grenade launcher. So, and let's tell you a little bit about the game right now. So you see them just running all over the place right now. So, you know, Resident Evil 3 is kind of in different kind of areas of the of the whole place, Raccoon City and whatnot. So, the first thing they need to do to get out of this area, they have to pick up three essential items to kind of proceed to the next phase of this uh, environment. So. They're going to need some uh, what, oil additives. They're going to need to get a battery. Oh boy. Um, first, we got a new, a new enemy here. Of course, not much. You might get a little swipe on the knee there, but no problem there for them. Another yeah. crucial RNG before, part right here. Right? So you got to swerve in front of that zombie, go right behind him, and then nice. Both of us run up the good stairs. RNG. Good RNG. They completely cleared it. So another thing I should mention, uh, there is a there is a trick that both runners are using called delayed input cancel. Basically, what they're doing is they are binding the right and left keys on one other key, 
So whenever the cursor is in a default position, you press that key and it jiggles right and left in like one frame. And it's actually faster than just like trying to mash on the default because by default, over the default position, the cursor, the cursor will actually add a few frames of lag and the delayed input cancel actually cancels that. Okay, so, so it actually makes all your menuing faster. We gotta remember, do Magnum route. The, the route for Magnum is completely different, so we have to do a few different things here. Going for the dodge? Yes. Nice. Both players got And the here dodge. comes Nemesis. I did not. Oh, you didn't? Oh. Nope. Okay, oh, both. All right, we don't want Nemesis to run here. Now and the, he's running. Now getting the crank early and there is part of the too. Magnum route. <laughs> oh, the oh, punch. The donkey oh, boy. Punch. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. This, oh, man. This holographic little uh, step ladder we got here. There's 11 pushes to push this over, to open this up, and they're going to go up there and pick up the other jewel they need. This is to progress to the other area. Actually, I'm not taking any chances. I'm grabbing that fast, too. Yeah, that first day's break, because you just don't know, you know. They're going to be a little aggressive here, and sometimes well. safety does pay off here. Yeah. yeah. Both players actually took a lot of damage in the oh, basement yeah. section, it so it's... So it's Really bad start it's, for yeah, both it's, of it's us, in both, honestly. It's in both players' favor to uh, not take any more damage up to this point, because if you're in caution, then your foot speed drops by about 10%. Your turning radius drops by about 5%. So consequently, it's going to be faster overall to right. be in fine as much as possible. Uh, I got the good luck there. If he I runs, not... yeah. oh. you can get by Buck, him right away. Yeah, Buck, Buck got a fast nemesis, which is faster to dodge because he's running. And you know, there's a gap in the middle of that hallway. Bach was able to take advantage of that, get around Nemesis. Mm. Wuss Cake got the slow Nemesis, so he had to wait it out a little bit before he could actually make the dodge. It's Otherwise, also, it's also a harder and more punishing dodge. If you don't get it, he grabs you and throws you to the ground, and costs you like 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The hardest, the hardest stun in the entire game. So they're going to proceed forward through City Hall here. They're going to make a run here. They're going to go pick up some stuff. They're going to go deal with a little area, another random part where you may have encountered zombies or you have dogs. So they're going to, if they have those uh, zombies there, they're going to try to shoot these barrels, explode ones, there, uh, closer ones, as well as the ones right by the train. The off screen, they're going to do kind of a blind shot here. Um, you're going to see them do that if they get the zombies. Otherwise, yeah. dogs, not much of a deal. Exactly. So this also will give them the right, ability so to I carry some more. So I shoot yeah. both barrels. It's a bit of a time loss. Both got zombies. Both zombies. But it's, it's actually a little safer, but it is slower. Because you won't get hit by the zombies, because you just kill them. Yep. And well, except, uh, yeah. oh. Those three off screen. OK, yeah, both, both shot. I wasn't sure if Whiskake actually also shot the second barrel or not. Sometimes, Chill. sometimes I know Whiskake likes to uh, go for the uh, riskier dodge on the second set of zombies, so. So you see them pick up the wrench there, as well as two more inventory slots. Um, so they'll be able to carry additional items that they'll need. Especially the fact they have to make so much more ammo now oh, yeah. on this Magnum route, you yeah. know? The RNG's up to notch, and you get the Magnum, sadly. The fights are slower, hence more dangerous with the Magnum. Yeah. Hence the extra passes. So. A little zombie alley here. And they're going to come up to this uh, first part. They need to pick up a little, little, little plate or whatnot. They're going to go. They're going to go over to the gas station area first, mm -hmm. and uh, do a little lights out action. Again, a common puzzle that a lot of us have seen. You know, you have to turn off all the lights, or either make one certain one. Of course, when they do this puzzle, whatever button they press uh, will me? flip the opposite lights either off and on. So they're going to pick up one of the items they need to get out of this part of the um, part of the game here. Maybe they'll pick up another first aid. Are they that bold? Oh, I'm grabbing the first aid. Magnum <laughs> run? Holy crap. You're actually supposed to pick it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you might want to impress us all and just, you know, go a little, a little healthier. Yeah, with the grenade launcher? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, basically lights out, except one light. Another huge RNG part coming up, so the the old statue. You you guys oh can explain boy. this. Yeah, this um this statue for sure you're gonna have this hello, zombies. And you're trying to basically push them all, hopefully all four if you can get a really good uh, shot there. Pick up this gonna have to all make four a little is actually, All four is actually very, very, very rare in yeah. that and it usually comes from like the rear of Jill's hitbox. Three is good enough to get by, you know. Hopefully you don't have to do two pushes there. So they're going to pick up that item, do a little swap here to come back there to get that battery, you know. 
Um, what you'll need to progress to get another one of those items they need. <laughs> I bet they wish they could go get that, that grenade launcher in the <laughs> other room, but uh, oh, they, don't wanna, they don't want to do that right now. Yeah. You can. It's just a little bit slower. Yeah. Yeah, we get to showcase the amazing Magnum run, something you will never see on <laughs> a Top Runner stream, or unless they're getting sick of resetting. Yep. So again, again, backtracking the way they came to go back to that same statue. Yeah, we're going to put this medallion in to get the battery to progress through the game. So again, those zombies, in fact, when you're on those steps, they actually can't hurt you there. They can only puke yeah. on you. So you, could either, there. you could either get crows or dogs here. Whiskey got dogs. It's like the same route either way. Yeah. Doesn't really matter if you get crows or dogs. Oh, boy. So, yeah, Bach got coming. himself a turbo oh zombie there. He wants a hug. Oh. oh he's getting it. <laughs> get some oh, chill. boy, let me oh. out of here. RN Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is brutal. Well, good old statue. Man, how many times are we gonna cross this path here, man? And, We're and as you can see, back. the the tables have turned now. Yep, that's the RNG of the game right here, just in horror form. So you can actually do a uh, execute a dodge here. That's about uh, that's about the only way to get around that zombie, to my knowledge. Mm. It's the rare time he will walk away from the wall. Yeah, these okay. guys can leap on you and give you another nice little hug there. You definitely don't want that, so yeah. you're going to drop off that battery, head over to pick up uh, the fuse over here. And, of course, mm. um, these zombies here can be in a separate little pattern. Sometimes they're close. You can kind of just run down the left side. This one has to kind of hug the fence to kind of get by. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, Buck was going to just get in there. Just so checking for powders uh, there. Checking for powders. Yeah, you might see a gunpowder be there usually. So what they're going to do here is uh, do a little math puzzle here. Open up that left one to get the fuse, and of course... Music skip. Frame perfect. Oh, look at that. You think you're impressed now. All right. <laughs> All right. I think you nice I got it as well. Oh, well, look at you. So they're going to stay even here. Of course, for, that, wow, for those who understand crazy. that, I think one option <laughs> is to uh, escape, and the other one is to uh, electrocute the zombies there. But, of course, we're just going to bounce. And, of course, we're going to have a friend here. Oh, oh, your favorite television show, Big John? Obviously, Dancing with the Stars. No, wait, wait, no, no, no. Da <laughs> dancing with the Stars. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. So, Nemi is going to be chasing them, possibly. You know, it's a little bit random what they show, but it's going to, whenever you hear that suspenseful music kick in, Nemesis is on the prowl, and there it mm. is. The music is incredible in this game. It really Very is. Very tense. I've seen that vending machine in how many Resident Evil games now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, still after you. Everybody wants to hug you or something, man. So again, they're backtracking again, and they're going to work their way back again. Another things they need, in fact, they got to go down to the pharmacy area, which can be quite a pain <laughs> to get out of there. Might be able to pick up some, uh, some uh, gunpowder there, which mm -hmm. they'll need to get. I think both of us. Got the gunpowder at the pharmacy. Okay, so they'll probably be good there. Pick up this fire hose so they can proceed to this fire area. You saw a little area with the dogs jumping out, so they're gonna go there. Again, maximizing those additional inventory slots that they picked up. Watch out for these guys. Little, oh, that's oh. actually a very, very, Ooh. very bad uh, position for that uh, for that one drain demos there. Yep. So normally, if he's normally if he's facing directly at you at that point, you would have to uh, blow up the barrel. Yeah. Oh, you guys or know what's coming up hit. next. Uh, this could be a run changer as well. Sass for Nadraville Aqua Cure. Yeah, this this right. puzzle they got coming up a computer puzzle. You have the higher likelihood of having Sassburn. Um There is a little tape that you can watch, but who wants to watch movies in the middle of a run? But mm -hmm. they're gonna probably both try Sassburn for us and hope that RNG gives them what they want here. Watch right. out for these guys. As with everything, as with everything in this run. Brute forcing every solution is going to be optimal. Who needs to go for Sassbring? Hey. Uh, where are we going to be going? Going for the... Uh, going with Aqua Cure. Going oh, for yeah. the safety spray. <laughs> oh, going Aqua Cure first. Sassbring is uh, usually the oh. most uh, common one. They're gonna... Sassbring. Oh, uh, oh Sassbring. <laughs> Come on, Sassbring. Wizcake, man. Why'd you change up? <laughs> Come no, on. We, we just marathon told you the luck. best choice to go first. It's marathon. <laughs> Tell you. Let's hope the powders are here, or I will... Oh, thank God. I wouldn't know what to do if they weren't here. 
So oh, you see here. some gunpowders <laughs> in one place. If you don't see them in one place, then there's usually another location you'll be able to obtain them from. But of course, now they got to get out of here and hopefully not take a lot of damage on the way out. That A and B there is just uh, one component of the gunpowder CCC that is needed to mix the Magnum rounds to fight Nemesis later. Oh, got one dodge. Took a bite. Oh, got uh, an auto dodge there. Nice. Yep, what's getting out of there a little bit earlier there? I'll explain auto dodging here in a second. Another shove there and. Uh, Ooh. Look at that walking though. Oh no. <laughs> That's hilarious, oh. man. How could you be scared of a zombie <laughs> like that? I'm too busy laughing at him. Enigma with the interpretive dance over here. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, anyways, um. Yeah, so the, the auto dodge, basically uh, with bite, with zombie bites in this game, um, in order to keep the player from uh, getting stun locked to death, the game has implemented uh, what is essentially like an auto like an auto shove. If you take a bite from a zombie and another zombie is about to bite you right afterwards, then Jill will automatically execute a shove. Of course, it doesn't uh, protect you from getting bit right after said shove, but in doing so, you also knock back even more zombies if one zombie's hitbox collides with the other zombies, then it propels those zombies backwards, so you can effectively use a zombie as a projectile. Clearly, Capcom uh, thought the auto dodge would actually help you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it does, actually. <laughs> but, it's uh, just extremely hard to just... pull off. It's, like, it is not casual friendly at all. Even the best runners, which Wusscake is former world record holder, I'm in fourth place, and both of us can't get it consistently. It's just so hard to pull off. And zombies are so random, it's just like... It's so hard to tell when a zombie's gonna turbo or anything. Yeah, in fact, if you don't know this game too well, the path they take can manip can honestly change what zombies appear where. Some sometimes your nemesis encounters are in different locations because of a certain path choice you make. So, you know, if you play the game, especially on the on the uh, on the the grenade launcher route, you know, you'll see these zombies popping up in different locations just because of the route choice. And of course, they're almost done with this area now. Yeah. But of course. Wow. It's crazy that we're both like on par at this point in the game. So they're gonna sneak by the side there, no problem. Oh, but that could oh, change quite quick. Early turbo. <laughs> turbo, man. Are you kidding me? Putting Bus Cake back in the lead. Mm -hmm. Those zombies want those hugs. Of course, now we're about to go encounter. This was not really a problem. I think casually, if you see this guy, you're gonna be a little terrified. But they're gonna basically fall down here, and the goal is for them to get this ladder down so they can get it out of here. So you gotta quickly go to one control panel, hit the button, turn, turn back, get the other one, go across, get the ladder and get out. If this thing hits you, that's like 30 damage a pop, I think. And, uh, oh, there he is. You want sometimes, him to pop out there, actually. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the worm control you and actually pop out closer to the ladder. Very, very early, I might add. Yeah. Yeah, if your and sometimes not just, optimum, yeah, yeah, it will it's hit a you. Very, yeah, it's a very, very rare, maybe like 3% chance that that worm decides to hedge you off at the ladder, and when it does, it's pretty much run over. Mm -hmm. Like it's run, it's run over because the worm is just going to keep popping out. You can't really like get it to retract because it'll even like cancel it, it's cancel itself retracting into the wall before you can even hit the ladder. Oh yeah. So you're pretty much done after that. This nemesis fight over here, don't gotta fight him at all. Just reverse, <laughs> return, and then we're gonna choose jump out. We're not gonna hit the break. We're gonna jump out. Because that obviously makes sense. The hilarious part is that we're like half a second apart. It, it's insane, actually. Like, this <laughs> never happens. This game is so yeah. random. It, it's like, I'm freaking out. This, this should be a minute it. apart. Yeah. This is or not worse. best part. This is the best part of the game right here for me. It's like, just watch her. Uh, I mean, come on. Doesn't that make sense? All right, we really have to focus here. If we mix the powders around. Or the half second time loss. We're screwed. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. And who said, oh, the yeah, speed, yeah. who said that speed running did not have empathetic competition. Can you look at, do you see how close this race is right now? You know, we've had people like forehead and now they're literally, you know, <laughs> not even a half second apart, literally. You know? But that's our E for you, our Resident Evil RNG the game right here. You gotta do a lot of thinking on the fly here. So what you see risk, them, what yeah. risk can I take? So you see them combining. So basically, just like basic math, A plus B equals C. I'm sure you learned that in, in like elementary school, right? And that would give them those C's, those double C's, trying to work to build those right. uh, magnum rounds. But most importantly, most importantly, they're keeping their inventories full here. Yeah. Because in doing so, we actually skip the freeze round pickup, which would be useful if we were playing <laughs> the uh, if we were playing the grenade route. But you know, so they're clearing their inventory right there. Still faster overall to plug it up and uh, K 
cancel the cutscene. Yeah, because what Carlos would normally show up there and saying, "Hey, Jill, oh, here's a here's a gift for here's you." Here's a gift, and you know that kills time. So full inventory, that card just said, takes it out of play. So uh, they're actually about to work their way to yet another source of RNG once they get past this room here. So you've got this nice little music puzzle here. So of course, on this particular version of the game, the solution is always the same. The RNG portion is based on what the starting positions of the pegs are. So honestly, I think the best you can get is basically one move. Nemesis Roar here, which is just bad luck. You lose time. Yeah. Naturally, we they're also grabbing. It. Yeah, yeah. They're also grabbing the uh, the mine thrower there. Mm -hmm. That's uh, specifically for the final Nemesis encounter. Um, mine thrower actually. Uh, mine thrower actually tears up final Nemesis. Believe Quite it or good. not, it's like what? the mine thrower is a generally useless oh. weapon except against final Nemesis, where it's just. Ooh, God. It so, just trumps is everything. A, is this a five change? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. boy. Yeah. If you're looking at this puzzle here, spoiler. So the solution to this puzzle, there are six segments here. And the solution is basically up, down, up, up, down, up from A to F. So you want to start with as many, uh, few changes as possible. Just like, how many changes did Whizcake have there? Four. It's about four change over there. So the, obviously, the least number of changes, the better. I'm not chancing an input drop, so I'm being slow on purpose. Yeah, yeah, I did with the powders. <laughs> oh, man. You mix those powders wrong? <laughs> GG. Oh, you, yeah. you ain't getting magnum rounds. Yeah. And good luck with the fight. Yeah. I put my knife out. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so right now, it's like, it's, like they're, it's like they're both split seconds apart. So it's like input drops or, you know, just like the slightest mess up in inventory could totally... Uh, could totally mean the difference between getting ahead or getting behind, especially oh. in the grand scheme of things, you know, oh, saving yeah. menus and whatnot. Yeah, like if you go to the water tail puzzle and you miss menu and you try to play the sequence, oh man, it's just all oh, kinds yeah, of that's time loss. That's the big one. Neck and neck, one, yeah. neck and neck, baby, neck and neck. Technically, yeah. he's a second ahead because he got the mind thrower and I didn't. But yeah, no big deal. So they're going to head through this doorway now, again, yet another part of RNG the horror game right here. That's going to make Oof. way to the little jewel room here. So they're going to go in here. They have to pick up these three crystals here. You got, uh, you know, the colors. You can figure them out. But anyway, putting, <laughs> placing those three in those particular statues will set the time on this clock. The center clock needs to be at 12 o'clock. And they can glance quickly at this time when there's nothing there to figure out what order they need to place the obsidian, the crystal, and what's the other one? Oh, uh, the other cri one? obsidian, crystal, and amber. Ah, see, I knew you knew your stuff, man. And so once they get that, be able to get this other portion of the gear they need to actually go to the first required oh. Nemesis fight of the game. There is no Neither skipping. Have yeah, have to take fight. care of Clock Tower and Nemi, and we're gonna see how they do it. I'm sure they'll handle. Yeah, the Clock Tower, well. the Clock Tower Nemesis strat. Normally on the uh, normally on the grenade launcher route, you would just use flame rounds and uh, take them down in about 12 flame rounds. But in the uh, in the Magnum route. You have to kind of uh, swap between using uh, magnum rounds and handgun bullets. Each phase of Nemesis has 400 HP, and magnum rounds after about six damage. It's like I don't know, like it's like what six, six, 60 damage a hit? Yeah. I think. With with this fight in particular, this is very scary. It is very possible to die here with the magnum, so we're just gonna hope for the best. It rarely happens, but you we're know, not gonna it's talk a about that. Yeah. A little more than 60. So you see, Wuss, you gotta watch out for those those rockets because they can bother you for almost 100 health. And uh, you can't survive that. So, and Nemesis you don't have is down. Spray. Right? Yeah. So, it's uh, the fight goes like the fight goes a little something like this six magnum shots, then one handgun bullet to take him down, then another handgun bullet to poke him and get him back up, then reload the magnum, re equip the magnum, quick shots, quick shots for days. If you're good in a, like if your quick shots happen nice. to sync up right when he's going to shoot the rocket launcher, then you can actually get Nemesis to miss the rocket launcher, and uh, obviously missing would you know keep your DPS stream up, so you would kill him faster. So it looks like Whiskake has about probably about a 10, 11 second lead right now based on that fight. And of course, you've got her. She's all messed up. She's all poisoned. So now we've got our Carlos segment here, where now we have to go get some stuff. We got to get some magical elixirs and get her back to going, you know, feeling a little bit better. So basically, Carson's going to go kind of the same path that you just saw her come from, except she's going to go over to the hospital where we get to see an enemy that I think a lot of RE players love so much, especially when you're in caution. Because it can, <laughs> it can seriously one hit quit you, and that's it. 
By the way, while, this, uh, while there's a little bit of downtime here, I want to give a shout out to uh, some other uh, Resident Evil runners on the uh, Spanish restream. Uh, Julian Manuel, Claire, and Rebecca, love you guys. Thank you so much for uh, commentating oh, yeah. this run on the Spanish restream. Yeah, thank you. That, that scene has been slightly censored in this version here. We don't want to get heads on too, talk. Yeah, too heads nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Still has his head. Oh, that's right. So, um, censored version. Hey, guess what? They're coming up on even more RNG here. So mm -hmm. they're going to have to make basically a 50-50 gamble coming up here. Uh, there's a room where you have to push this, this little uh, cabinet into Oof. one of the corners of the room. So of course, if you're a casual, you go into the first room to actually know what the solution uh, is. <laughs> well, I don't know about Yellow Carlos. <laughs> but uh, these advanced players here are gonna have to take a 50-50 shot to see which corner. Now, of course, this again can swing the run because if you mess up, you have to leave the room, go back in and try the other option. So, yeah. looks like Whiskake is gonna be the first person. Oh, is, is he gonna? I YOLO. Oh, is he gonna, he's, not, he's, not, he's not going to YOLO it. No, and I, I, I can't failed. do it. I would be so behind with failed YOLO. And I would have yeah. failed it. Oh, it's like you got YOLO. And I also would have yeah. failed it. Oh, thank you. If I, so if I went for YOLO Carlos, which I do like every run at home, yeah, I would be like 30, 40 seconds behind. How, right. how much it is should it be, exactly? Failed um, 104? Uh, 20 to 25. I mm. don't keep count. Yeah. So let me explain the, uh, let me explain the YOLO strat here a little bit. Um, the, uh, the direction that the uh, drawers are on the shelf actually determines what side you are going to be pushing the shelf on, and that, deduce, that deduces the solution to a 50-50 chance of whether it's going to be on the left or the right side of the room after you push it onto its appropriate uh, section. And each plate has its own numeric solution. So there's four possible solutions, 50, 50 chance of actually getting it, obviously if the shelf is, if the Shelf needs to be pushed closer to the door. It's going to be way slower. The fastest solution being 531, 253, 325, 104, in that order. And zombies upstairs is the worst RNG because those zombies can block the elevator and cost you 10 to 15 seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, this puzzle that you see Whiskey doing here, again, this puzzle has one solution. You just need to change dial um, Roman number one, three, and then A. And that will give you the solution, making those two bars even out. And that will give you the other part of the elixir that you need to get our female lady back working to full capacity here. But of course, we have to get out of here. So that nice little run behind the hunter strat here. Again, we had zombies here, so we got to take care of these hunters. Right. Yeah, Wuscake got zombies upstairs, so there's hunters in the basement. Mm -hmm. But uh, Bach got zombies out the I'm elevator, so yeah. he's going to he's going to be able to uh, detonate the bomb a little quicker. Um, I suppose the uh, like the, I suppose it might be I don't know is it going to be faster to get zombies in the basement or is it faster to get zombies on the first floor? Which is the fastest solution, guys? Depend. It's, um, it's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. Okay. Personally, I prefer zombies in the basement just simply because they're easier to deal oh, with yeah. than the hunters yeah. than the hunters going out. Otherwise, I mean, I'm too plebeian to be able to shoot the mine on the wall mm -hmm. like uh, Wuscake did with those two hunters, and I just like opt for the assault rifle there instead. Yeah. So you, practice. But the assault rifle is like, having a two-handed weapon equipped makes you run really, really slow. But they're so powerful, though, man. Yeah, it's, it's so satisfying. satisfying. It's strong, but uh, in, general, <laughs> in general, you need to not have a two-handed weapon equipped because it will lower your foot speed by about 2%. Yeah. Mm. So you see, Wuscake has uh, gotten, we've gotten her back. Jill's ready to go. So of course, now we're going to go proceed to the other part. So we're basically going to backtrack Can't the part the you throw. saw Carlos go here. It's going to pick up that mind throw. You heard Carlos talk about a, that for the later part of the game here. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of trouble with that pickup there. Yeah. But uh, Wuscake still maintaining a uh, pretty solid, I'd say like 15 second lead. That can change real quick. Oh uh, yeah, can it can change. It can change, the especially worm with the yeah with the. With the Grave Digger, with the park segment especially, if Wuss gets, oh. if, if, Wuss, if, if Wuss gets zombies on the bridge, this could this could be, this could uh, turn the tide. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect line, dodge the turbo. Oh, yeah. Dodging, my dodging, yeah, me. dodging the turbo. That's that that's actually a really 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 tough one. So you see a section where Wuss is. You can have zombies or worms here. Hey, speaking this of this here, one. he's getting the oh, he's getting zombies yeah, here. Yeah, we got zombies. Wuss, Wuss gets zombies. Bach also executing the dodge. Yeah. 
Clean, clean dodges on the zombies from Whisk Cake. It still costs a little bit of time compared to getting hunters because the hunters let you take a cleaner line. Yeah, so it's about, well. it's about like 0.2 seconds, but it's still mad risky getting around these guys. Yep. Bach also getting the clean dodge around the zombies. He got zombies and uh, Bach also getting dogs. dogs yep. So we got both zombies and dogs. Very similar RNG turnout through a, for, for both runners. Yeah, not too much swing right there. I'm taking my time with this. So this is, again, another simple little puzzle here. Uh, I believe 2, 3, 5, 2, 4, 1. That's basically yeah. the position if you, of... Yeah, if you screw this up, which... Yeah, if you mess up the inputs for this puzzle, then you, yeah. won't be able, you won't be able to reverse them because you have to do it in a certain number of moves. And on top of that, whenever you hit the button, you have to wait for a long animation, <laughs> the camera shifting. It's like an easy 15-second loss if you oh, mess it yeah. up. It's so, bad. you know, it, it actually pays to go, to go a little bit slow there. A little bit of foreboding, you know, you got the gravedigger sliding away in the background. Um, probably, yeah. yeah, probably needs, uh, pretty sure you have enough magnum rounds to be able to uh, finish off the worm at this point. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I ain't chancing it. I'm taking the first stage right here. Because they are coming up to it. This is another, this is basically your second required fight. There's no skipping around this one this time. Oh, um, this. Last year, the ladder here, they're going to sit here, take this big old rod here, and she's going to do a little workout here to... You know, become an arsonist first, apparently. Uh, and I'm grabbing this as well. <laughs> oh man, both are. Uh, oh, both both, both, first yeah, I just, you both know, players you aren't. Uh, both players aren't feeling particularly frisky over here. Okay. Not with the magnum. Oh man. So they're gonna go over here, um, do a little action here, and then they, again that fight coming up. And uh, I don't know, this fight shit. I don't think they have too many problems, but uh, it is it is magnum. So I yeah, mean, worm with the magnum is actually magnums, quite different. Uh, and difficult. Yeah. yeah. A very easier fight when you, because usually you'll have your grenades and what you use, uh, what the B rounds there to take care of them. But uh, they're going to do this a little bit differently here. So let's see what happens here. Let's take the first one there. Just about a 10 second difference here. 10 15. You have to make sure you nail all the quick shots if this is going to work at all. Manual reloads. After the attack here, the, the uh, Grave Digger actually takes uh, reduced damage. Aiming down, does that actually deal full damage? If you time it right, yes. Really Step now? Up. Yes. Uh oh. Good to know. That's new learn, learn something new oh, every day. Control by the worm. Classic. He did not like that. Too bad for him. So, you gotta on this next phase here. You have to make sh the worm pop its head out multiple times before it finally decides to pop its head out. Mm. Of the floor. Yeah, both both of us got the worst worm possible. Oh man. The best you can hope for is a two cycle worm. And I and didn't he's get gonna, it. He's gonna go down the ground. Okay, so it's up to Bach. Is Bach going to get the two cycle? Let's find out. Oh, oh Bach yeah. got the two cycle. Yeah. Really this is good. this is going to yeah no, this is Bach is uh Bach is yeah, now going horribly. to be. Gotta be careful because we got whistling caution, you know. She's over there holding her chest, you know. She's not feeling so good. Again, while they're playing this, they have to be mindful of their ammo because there is no on screen really, you know, health indicator until they pause. They can take a quick glance at their health to see if they're in fine or caution. Caution is actually visible, you know, you can see where you're dead. And of course, we don't want to talk about being in danger anytime soon. Yeah, I just took one more shot. That was like that was like really close to two cycle. So again, they're again backtracking here. They have that fight done, and now, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> what happened? Oh god, trying to bob and weave through there. Oh. So again, making back here and to proceed to kind of like our final area of this game here, you know. But again, a lot can happen. We've got more. Mm -hmm. We've knife got another nemesis. RNG puzzles. Oh boy. You know, we've got to get through knife nemesis fight. You know, yeah, knife, nem knife uh. nemesis fight. Knife nemesis fight can be a little random on the uh, third phase. And we should yes. talk about water hunters really quick and how badly they can kill a run. Well, you know, hunters in the base. Well, I can tell you personally that those hunters. See, one thing about hunters, when you're in caution, these hunters can one hit decapitate you. That's it. Thanks for playing. You know, so they have to be mindful, especially if they're going to take damage a little bit earlier, because you've got, you know, basically two consecutive rooms where hunters can be a problem. You know, that water prior to the water table puzzle, as if that already wasn't enough of a deal itself, because, you know, that's a lot of inputs, depending on what kind of uh, solution they get here. You see right there, the little cheese there, you can actually get close enough to the hitbox without doing that steam puzzle correctly. And uh, just trigger it, open up that door, so we can make some progress here to head to that downward, to that 
good old everybody's favorite water table puzzle, which I hope you have memorized. Uh, got my cheat sheet. Is this run <laughs> valid now? You're cheating now? Uh-huh. You're cheating. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to Wolf and Dudley. <laughs> I see. Oh, boy. I see old. I see old Wuss Cake peeping over on peeping over on box test over there. They're not, sharing notes in a run. What is this? <laughs> peeping over on box test answers over there. No, no, oh, no, no, no. I don't know what he's talking about. We're gonna call your parents on this one, man. How dare you? This is your. This is your. This is your finals, man. It's either do or die. Yeah. So you right, see, Bob Boy hitting there, looking for yes, leeches. leeches again. Leeches or Ooh. hunters could appear here, so that's obviously desired one. Right. And Another uh, thing the PC version can do, going back to Wuss Cake's screen for a moment, like he actually uh, exited and re-entered to shuffle around the zombies. On console, you'd have to plow your way through those zombies. Def. So as they approach the, uh, the best puzzle in the Resident Evil series here, oh, yeah. they're going to take a glance. If you look at these, you have four rows here, or five, we can look at the bottom one. That upper left, those first two columns, you see it's medium and low. That is their, basically their cheat sheet. That tells them how to move A, B, and C. So basically you're gonna add up those heights, A, B, and C, to equal the heights of the very top line. So you can see that red and yellow to make that first one there. And uh, this is what their cheat sheet is for. It's a lot of, lot of moves. You gotta move left and right for A, B, and C. And uh, this is not where you want to miss input and accidentally choose your wrong option to play it because you can lose 10, 15 seconds here really easily. Unless you catch yourself. That's why I moved yeah, left instead hopefully. of right. Did, did you drink water hunters or no? Nope. Oh, thank God. Yeah, both of them both of them got both of them got leeches. Yeah. yeah. So here's a so coming up is uh the uh, garbage nemesis fight. Yeah, one of the worst things in the entire game. Probably yeah. the hardest executed thing in the speedrun. Pretty much every every route in the Resident Evil 3 speedrun forces you to use the knife for this particular fight. It was actually Wolf DNC that came up with this strategy, was it not? Mm -hmm. I believe so, yeah. Oh, the best part was that nobody believed him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then now everybody does it. And everybody loses runs here. Yeah. Again, a uh, non skip oh, fight you here. Jerk. But we're oh. going to need, I need quiet for this because there's audio cues. And this is, you think the tables can turn somewhere? This is it. But, we'll explain. Uh, we'll explain the fight after Wuss Cake is done. But yeah, basically, just just like just like, there's a certain audio cues like a footstep for when Nemesis slashes, or like when, like in order to hit the first valve, you have to wait for two footsteps on the second one. You have to wait for him to say stars, and then on the third one, well, yeah. So here we go. Actually, I actually don't really know how to do the third one all that well. Here it's, we go. It's actually luck based. And that's where the tide turns. Okay. Right. So quiet time. Oh, lit. Oh, uh oh, wow, the, the ultra rare. RNG is giveth. Yeah, this is. Oh, the disrespect. This is not good. That is one of the rarest things uh -oh. that can happen. Oh, wow. Mm. I, got, I got the super early acid. I've both, never gotten that before. Both players. Oh, wow. Wow, I can't believe. The opposite thing had to work the same. This is super rare. This is crazy, actually. This is, uh, this could, this could go. This is astronomically unbelievable right now. It's just. Now both players, both players have to improvise. Oh God. Oh, that's, that is, that that's is. a lot of damage there. That yeah, is, that's a, that's, that's like 100, 90, 100. It's a, it's a hundred, it's 110 damage out of 200 max. Yeah, you cannot survive two of those. So again, using those first aids. Oh, oh. this is just brutal. The disrespect. Oh, he's backing up. Oh, maybe. Right. Oh, Bach got one hit. Right. One hit. There goes the arm. Again, three acids to get this thing dead here. Nemesis going for the long range attacks on box screen. Wuskate got it. Got the hit. Nimi loses his arm. Uh oh. Bach gets hit number two. I might die here. I don't have a healing item. Wait. Yes, I do. Thank oh, God. Boy. Oh, Wuss Cake with the Ooh, save. Oh, boy. Oh, what? That, that didn't hit? Oh, boy. Stepped out of it. Oh, Look. my God. This fight. Oh, thank God. Man. Again. That, the, the odds of this happening it's, is ridiculous. I, this has never happened to me, 
actually. Oh, classic line. The double, it never <laughs> happened before, you know? Oh, man. I'm, I think I'm dead crazy. here. crazy. So, of course, they used up. up all their... Oh, man. I, I, I've been stunlocked to death. Yeah, all what? right, going in. Yep. Oh, no. Oh. Got him. Oh, wow. Oh, oh boy. my god. Oh. I can't... Resident Evil 3, ladies and gentlemen, that is the game. This is why, you know, it's that, just a brutal game. That was... I've actually... I've... I have no words. Actually, that's that's just like, wow, you know. That was well, that was that was that, that was that was an amazing run. Yo, up to that let's point. give it up Everyone, for let's give it up for Wes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like you guys gotta realize this is a crazy game. Like, oh, you best believe I'm gonna save it. Just at least so someone will finish it. Right. Make sure you read that manual. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Again, you all oh. see just how challenging when you have to do that fight knife only. Whew. You know, grenade launcher. I mean, it's just. I can't it's, it's not even it. a problem, but when you're forced to do what the quote game shows you with how the the correct way to do it is, it is not easy, <sighs> and that damage can just just crazy, man. This game is insane. Buck playing super safe now. Oh yeah, I, like my one thing going into <laughs> HDQ is like, please God, one of us finish this game. I know, and we we almost both died yeah. at the same part. I can't. Believe, I, I've said that a thousand times. Chat is probably making fun of me so hard, but it's we both know how we live this game. Yeah, that's like less than a five percent chance for that first ass about the miss, and it happened to both of us. Yeah, in different situations. That's like <laughs> oh, my ass about so, was too early, it's and yours so was too late. That we're freaking out over this super nerd moment, but like we run this game a lot, and that legitimately never ever happens. Not only to two people at the same time, but to anyone, ever. I've never had to ask about hit that early before. That is crazy. That's... See, it wouldn't have happened because first of all, when they got the Magnum 10 hours ago, they would already reset anyway. Oh, so yeah. they wouldn't even be in this situation. <laughs> you know? Should just allow them to reset it, you know? What a double Magnum, a death. Oh, classic RE3. So, but I, nevertheless. Yeah. Basically the game, oh. Oh, the game, the game was out for blood. Yeah, the game was seriously. You see all those hugs week. they were trying to give you, you know. All this week, every practice run I've done, I've gotten like the Magnum, or I've gotten like the weirdest, dumbest RNG. It's just like I'm like really. So better, well, be, I better, better give me world record I'll, when I get I'll, back. I'll try and do this optimally. I, I I should be being safe, but we'll see if we can get the optimal fight. Yeah, so the final fight coming here that you see Bach with doing here, uh, the first thing you need to do is push in all the batteries because, you know, nothing in Resident Evil World never has power. So you're going to push in everything here, get this big old uh, light cannon, electric cannon, what's the thing, rail cannon, in yeah, there. Yeah. And, of course, now this is where you see them take advantage of that additional weapon they picked up because you want to get this, uh, get Nemesis' health uh, below 200 so that the second time this cannon fights, you can end this game. So they have all that additional ammo and ammunition to get his HP low enough so that that cannon could kill him. But of course, you have to stay alive as well. That acid is being tossed. He has, what, one, uh, one herb and a first aid, so that's gonna give him about another 100, what, 250 health if he needs it. I should mention, by the way, that uh, Whiskake is the second place runner in this game <laughs> with just a mere five seconds behind the world record. Mm -hmm. I was put to shame, like, not even two weeks ago. Yeah, he held the world record for, I'd say... Almost a year. Almost a year, yeah. It's a, it, was, it was a very, very, very long run. And then the guy was, came out with his golden magnum, and he's just like, well, not today, buddy. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I am... So it looks like he's trying to lure him in there. He's got to get his health down low enough. Here comes the shot. I think that's enough. And yep, yep there it is. No I got the two cycle. For this race. Oh my gosh. That again, that's the best possible. <laughs> Alright, now give him stars. I have a, I have a give him stars. Give him, please. Please. Give him, give him stars. Please. Give him stars. Give him stars. Give him stars. Yeah. Give him stars. Yeah, give him go. stars. <laughs> you have to, man. Yeah, if if there's any Dudley oh, or please. Wolf subs in the chat, raise those magnums. So for those who don't know this game too well, when you complete this boss fight. You're presented with another option. You have one option, just Top bounce. option, here we go. Just I'm leave, going. or you can do what you're about to see just in a few mm -hmm. seconds Oh, here. please, baby, Quiet make on the my set, day. everyone. This is important. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this. I hope it's the top option. Woohoo! All right, here we go.
You want stars? I'll give you stars. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. GG. A brutal race, as you guys can all see. And the RNG madness. Just, I, I'm almost speechless. But I keep repeating the same things over and over. Well, to the average person, it's like, oh, that's, oh, that's yeah, bad it's like, luck. Whatever. To us, yeah. it's like, I've never seen, it's like, mm -hmm. wow. It's like. Well, guys, thank you. Me and Wuskick <laughs> both streamed this game time. And, and, and many other games. Time. 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 Yep. There we go. Thank you, guys. Damn. Actually, uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. This has been incredible. <laughs> A death, but I mean, the RE3? What can you say? Um, but we both stream this game, like we said, former world record holder. He grinds this a lot and other games, and I grind a lot of other games as well. We stream almost every day. And amazing couch, like you guys are all awesome. Great friends of mine, Maxi, Enigma, Carsey, Big John. Just great time at a great place, all for a great cause. And this guy likes chicken, so. Mm -hmm. Chicken's in the chat, hopefully. <laughs> Spam those bought corns. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. That was, that was incredible. Hey. What a phenomenal...